You're back again with another video guys and today we gotta talk about some stuff that 2k has completely ruined when it comes to the new my team that we ended up getting this year with 2k23 and I do want to know down below in the comments right now what are your thoughts with the new my team the new 2k I'm gonna be reading every single comment and replying to as many as I can because right now there's definitely some negatives there's also some positives it's not always negative however though there's two things that I feel like 2k has completely ruined this year in my team and I'm just so confused and upset and just wondering what 2k is even thinking and if you're like me and you want to see 2k be better then leave a like right now on the video and let's get right into it right here so one of the things that I do want to talk about right here because again there's definitely some issues but there's two that I want to focus on for this video and number one is going to be the draft mode out here take a look at this I have to pay 21,000 MT or 7,500 VC to get a ticket one ticket to even be able to play the game mode bro and it just blows my mind because i ended up doing one draft and i ended up doing this when the season had 28 days left right so i ended up doing this draft right here i ended up drafting the players they definitely did improve some of the aspects when it comes to this game mode however though i have been waiting forever to get a new ticket to be able to play this game mode and i ended up getting the first draft done with 28 days left in the season and at the moment there's 10 days and so we have had over two weeks to get a new ticket or a free one. And 2K has not given us a new ticket, bro. Like, I'm out here checking every single agenda. I'm like, maybe there's a hidden one. Maybe there's, like, one over here. And 2K is just not giving out tickets. Like, how are people supposed to play that game mode? When I played my first draft, I couldn't even find people to play against. It would take me five minutes to find an opponent. And so that goes to show you that 2K is just not releasing tickets. I'm still checking, by the way, because maybe I missed one. Like, let me know that one in the comments have you guys gotten a new ticket when it comes to the draft mode like i was streaming too and i'm like has anyone played the draft mode and they're like we don't have any tickets to play and i'm just like same here i've been waiting forever bro we got one ticket so far ever since 2k23 came out and they have not given us a new one guys i'm out here checking everything bro just maybe a hidden ticket you know for free nothing i'm checking i'm looking and I have been waiting forever, bro. Like, I ended up doing that draft because I wanted to go after Iguodala. That was, like, the player that was available when it came to the Ascension. And so that's why I ended up playing the game mode. And then ever since then, I haven't been able to play it because I completed, you know, the 10 games that we needed. And then after that, I just can't play it anymore. Now, I can play it if I were to, you know, pay. But I'm not paying no 21,000 MT, bro. 2K is wild out here, bro. 21,000 MT is a lot of MT. And then even though VC is ridiculous, bro, and I am not paying for this because we should be getting at least a free ticket every single week. Like every Monday should just be like, hey, here's a new ticket, go play the draft mode. And then that way people actually get to play it. Like I'm very curious to know, when's the last time you guys played the draft mode? I bet it's been forever, or maybe you haven't even tried it. Let me know down below. And then the other thing that we gotta talk about is going to be locker codes. Now at the moment it says locker code available, and so let's just see what it is. It's just a community poll, and it's asking, have you been watching any of the NBA preseason games? And I have been. Anthony Davis looking really good, Russell Westbrook, etc. The Lakers, they could be a problem this year. Or maybe it'll just be all drama, who knows. But I get one token right there. That's literally everything. But locker codes are non-existent. They say right here, follow us on Twitter for news and exclusive locker codes to receive rewards. And they have not dropped any locker codes. Every single Tuesday, every single Friday, I'm like, where are the locker codes, bro? Like, where are they? The last time we got a locker code was, I think, over a week ago. Like, where are... Well, actually, let me go like this. Where are the locker codes this is the only time that i'm out here using this window right here because they don't they don't drop them bro they don't drop any locker codes and i'm just wondering why 2k is doing this like the draft mode should be something that people play and then locker codes should definitely be given out every so often and actually i i just thought of a big brain play this, this is so this is so big brain that even 2k hasn't thought about it apparently but what if they drop a locker code for a free draft tickets oh my goodness mind blown am i right like 2k if you're watching this i'm literally giving you these ideas for free you can take them okay i you don't need to pay me 
Just give us a login code for a free draft ticket. Is that so hard to do? And actually, I want to check. When's the last time we actually ended up getting some login codes in my team? Let me go check their Twitter accounts. It's right here. They're advertising it, which, by the way, follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. But I'm just curious. Let's go on Twitter and let's see when's the last time we got a login code. A few moments later. And oh my God, it's actually a lot worse than I was expecting. So take a look at this right here. I ended up searching login code and then from my team. And they ended up dropping this one September 9th. That's when the game officially dropped for everybody. So that was on Friday when my team came out. And then before that, it was August 12th with, you know, the end game and Invincible pack, which was August 12th. And then since, since September 9th, they, wait, hold on. That can't be right though. Cause wasn't there a locker code? Hold on. What if I just do locker codes? Maybe, maybe just have a locker code. I'll just do locker codes. Let, let's check it out. Locker codes. Let's see. How many locker codes? Oh, that's right. We did. We, we had that one. We, we had that. Oh, my goodness. We've had two locker codes. There's no way. Can someone just let me know why 2K doesn't want to drop locker codes? It's been a whole month since the game has come out. And, like, we've gotten two? Two, two, locker, two locker codes for my team? What? Like, like what? Like, I'm actually, I'm, I'm so confused right now. Like, they actually only have dropped two. There's no way. I feel like I'm missing one. Is there one that I'm missing? No, September 9. And then wait, is this is this a different one? Logger codes. And okay, my bad. I, I made a mistake, guys. It, it's not two, it's three. <laughs> That's not even better, bro. It's three. Three logger codes. My bad. Sorry, 2K. I, I'm out here saying you've only dropped two, but it's actually only three. Because this one's different from uh, the other one. This one, this one also came out when 2K released, you know, the new my team and the new 2K. And so they dropped two login codes the first day of 2K being out. And then since then, they dropped one September 23. I don't, I don't know, 2K. Like, please, just drop some login codes. Like, come on, bro. Like, a free player, a free pack, maybe some free MT, maybe some free tokens that people can use in the token markets. You know what I mean? And I'm just so confused. Like, 2K, make it make sense. Like, why? Let me know down below in the comments. What other issues do you guys think 2K has this year when it comes to 2K23 and my team? And don't get me wrong. There's definitely some positive stuff that 2K has added, but I just feel like the negative stuff just outweighs the positive stuff. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's always the case when 2K just doesn't really focus on certain things. Because the draft mode and logger codes, I feel like they just forgot about it. And they tend to forget about some stuff, even though I feel like at this point it's more just they don't care about it instead of just forgetting. I feel like maybe they just they just don't care. Like they don't care to update the draft mode with free tickets for people to be able to play. Like you can't even play the game mode, bro. Like you literally, like if you use your first ticket already, you are not playing this unless you're gonna pay the 21,000 MT, which don't do that. And then the VC, 7,500. Like how are we not able to get one ticket at least every two weeks? Maybe don't make it every week, but make it at least every two weeks. We haven't even had one opportunity to get an extra ticket so far this year in my team and you guys already know i'm always trying to remind 2k that they can always do better i'm always telling them like hey drop more logger codes whether it's on twitter or videos on youtube and stuff like that even in my streams too i'm just over here like 2k where's the logger codes where's the draft tickets where's these other updates that we definitely do need for the new mind team and so far they have been pretty silent with certain things and so i just want to know down below in the comments what you guys think i have a nice little message for 2k and it's dear 2k drop more logger codes because I feel like at this point, we definitely should get more consistent codes and just more consistent other ways of playing the game instead of just what we have right now. And I am hoping that 2K gives us some stuff right now before this season ends. And then hopefully we go into the new season with bigger and better stuff. But we'll see what happens for now, though, guys. I just wanted to make a quick little video letting 2K know that they got to update this. And I do want to hear your thoughts as well. So comment down below. We're going to call it with this one. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. And if you guys have some more free time, definitely check out the other videos that I uploaded. We talked about the auction house because the auction house is horrible too and also check out the road to dark matter larry bird as we decided to go after galaxy boy anthony davis too and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video